that there's an idea out there that there's nefarious groups of beings that are trying to manipulate human and voluntarily sucking their energy and therefore perhaps manipulating them into stepping into such other platforms so that they could, you know, take over. Yeah, the, I think there is some truth to that. Although I have to say, um, anytime you make a move, blink your eyes, wave your hands, walk down the street, you are stirring up energy. And that is, it's going to affect the unseen world as well as the world you're in. So to say that there's beings waiting to suck your energy, I'm like, okay. There are beings who, dis who depend on the disturbances that we create because it keeps their world going. If everything came to a stop, we would all wink out in a heartbeat. We would just collapse. You have to keep the whole thing going. Life is a system. It's a system of waves and frequencies and everything harmonically related at one level is one system, one reality. You get too far out of that, you're in another dimension and you will not be seen unless somebody like me or somebody who has clairvoyant skills or clairaudient skills can sometimes hear. Um, but the people... Of a really good example of that change of dimension or change of frequency is you're walking along or you're having a conversation even and somebody says something that sparks this thought and it's like ah oh, and then poof it's gone and it was like I, I was gonna say something I can't think of why what it, it came to me why because right at that moment when it came to you you were at a just enough of a different radio station or frequency that you were picking up something that was useful or helpful or in a different dim dimension and if you can get back there you can pick it up again but if you can't you can't you can't see it you can't hear it you can't smell it you can't taste it or touch it so th that whole business of we really need to understand um reality and the nature of reality and to understand that everything is dependent on everything else keep moving that's all there is to it and to say that there's people waiting to suck your energy that's just a new age vampirism it's, what's the difference between that and saying don't walk down the street at night on sites because vampires are going to get you and they're going to suck your blood but it's more in the sense that if people voluntarily, let's say, pass on, die, and instead yeah. of going to the light or going to the way station or going somewhere that they can, they can guide you into something else, of, of, of some kind of another world where you're not even knowing that you're in another world, but it's, it's a way of, uh, it's like a harvest. There is a possibility of that, but I haven't seen that. Doesn't okay. mean it doesn't exist. What I've seen is that when you pass over, when you exit the body, there are family and friends waiting to greet you so that you can get acclimated and become familiar with that next world, which is much less dense. So um, you're talking, fifth, people don't know what a fifth dimension is. We have no scientific criteria that says this is fifth dimension, this is fourth, this is third, this is first, this is eighth, that nothing like that exists. So to be talking about fifth dimensional stuff is basically, you know, just wishful thinking. <laughs>